good morning everybody, how are you? Are we good to go? Uh, just before we start, could I just uh, introduce on my left Acting Detective Superintendent Rod Kemp, who's a Regional Crime Coordinator for the Metro South Region. And on my right, uh, Acting Detective Superintendent Chris Jory, J-O-R-Y, who is the Regional Crime Coordinator for the Gold Coast Region. Good morning. All right. Well, good morning. Um, we just wanted to come together just to provide some further details about uh, the overnight arrests by detectives of uh, two men and a boy following investigations into a number of armed robberies that have occurred in the Logan and South Brisbane areas. The boy has been charged with 23 offences and the two men have been charged with six and seven offences respectively, including armed robbery and company, going armed so as to cause fear and unlawful use of a motor vehicle. The results have come as a result of Operation Juliet Magnetic with offence dates ranging from mid-March through to early May. So in total, as a result of yesterday's police activity, five people have been charged with 44 offences. They occurred throughout the southeastern region and metropolitan south regions. This is a great result. It shows the commitment of officers in the southeastern and metropolitan south regions to, uh, together with officers from State Crime Operations Command to solving these very serious offences. About 35 detectives have been actively investigating these offences and it's a demonstration of how seriously the QPS uh, views these type of offences. I'll just talk briefly about uh, this crime in general in terms of how it's progressing this year. Whilst there has been a spike in armed robbery offences in April, the overall number of offences across Queensland is very similar to recent years. Uh, between the 1st of January and April 30 this year, there were 308 armed robberies in Queensland. This is 13 more than the same time last year, but apart from last year, it's the lowest number that we have had uh, for over a decade. Uh, specifically on the Gold Coast District, there have been 43. That's actually one less than the same period last year and 25 less than the same period in 2009. So I think that's just important in terms of context. When we've analysed these recent, invest, uh, recent uh, offences, we have determined they've been committed by a number of isolated individuals and groups who are not acting together and certainly is not indicative of any level of organised crime. Investigations into these offences are certainly ongoing and we do encourage anyone in the public who has any information about any of the offences uh, that we have mentioned and they have seen on news reports to contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. We also uh, appeal to business owners to ensure that they take all the necessary steps that they can to ensure the safety of their staff and to try and enhance the protectiveness of their business to make them a less attractive target for people who are contemplating some of these crimes. So, happy to take questions. So, tell me about with the Commissioner yesterday afternoon about the potential of um, an armed robbery squad. What's the result of that meeting? Yes, the, uh, the Premier has spoken to the Acting Commissioner this morning. It's been agreed that the deployment of resources uh, to combat these types of offences is an operational issue for the QPS and it's been agreed that our preferred model is that for these types of offences it's appropriate that the regional detectives have the lead and that as and when required we will provide additional support from State Crime Operations Command. So there'll be no squad formed specifically to tackle this, it'll just be the regional CIB? Well we already have a, an armed robbery unit at State Crime Operations Command and obviously that's looking at uh, the more sophisticated and major offences that occur, banks, armoured cars, those sorts of things. But these sorts of what we would call soft target, isolated armed robbery offences, have traditionally always been the responsibility primarily of the regions and they have shown uh, a great aptitude to be able to handle these. The clear up rate for these types of offences is about 55% statewide. Do you know what the clearance rate is so far this year? Uh, no, I don't have those figures with me. Um, the, the fact that we had such a stream uh, in April anyway, have you, you guys have actually arrested people now. I'd imagine you'd be aware of the reasons. Can you tell us why? Uh, these guys had a, a, a fair bit to do with that spike, I'd imagine, with the sheer number of offences. Is there any, any reasons they've given you as 
the why they went on such a rampage. Well, I'm happy to uh, defer to one yeah. of the supers. Well, yes, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, perhaps I could answer that this way. Uh, whilst the investigation is still ongoing and there are associates of the current people that are before the court uh, outstanding, I can't go into intimate detail other than to say these people are generally young in age and we see it as some sort of a, a scheme of a challenge or a, um, a thrill-seeking, if you like, uh, expose by them. And uh, apart from that, like the deputy said, they're certainly not, uh, it's not, certainly not at organised crime level or anything like that. They're just young uh, youths that uh, were, were seeking, uh, thrill-seeking, if you like. And like I said the other day to the media, it was rather amateurish. And uh, I would like to just at this point too uh, thank the support from State Crime Operations Command that we had uh, because of the spike in the, the soft target armed robberies. We got onto State Crime Operations Command and we got excellent support over the long weekend, uh, which was greatly uh, appreciated. Can I just add to that that clearly the people who commit these offences have little or no appreciation of the trauma psychological damage that they cause to the victims of these offences. What might seem to be, uh, you know, some sort of uh, escapade uh, has potentially long-lasting and serious health and uh, mental implications for the victims of these crimes and that should never be forgotten. Did these people put up fights when they were arrested or did they cooperate? Um, I can and say that... Two I can go to the point of the microphone in the direction of this speaking. Is that OK? Sorry. Yes. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I can say in this instance that we've had uh, two attendants uh, uh, injured, minor injuries albeit, but obviously horrific uh, being in their situation. Uh, fortunately, we've arrested persons for those particular offences. One attendant received uh, an injured injury to the hand, I believe a, a fracture to the uh, bone in the hand. The other uh, attendant uh, received some bruising uh, neither were hospitalised, but obviously uh, quite traumatic, and uh, you can only imagine what those people have, have felt. Uh, can I just say, too, I'd like to thank the Retailers Association and the business people. Uh, this has been brought about with a team effort from our crime prevention people working in closely. If we didn't have closed circuit TV coverage that we have these days, then perhaps this uh, matter would not have been solved in the manner it has. So I'd like to thank them for going to the extra cost of putting in these security measures. So these, these sorry, the, two, the three people that have been arrested in, overnight, have they were committed again on all occasions? Uh, we've arrested five for 44 offences. Um, as I said, they're youths that uh, are known to each other, associates of each other. Uh, we believe uh, there's 14 uh, of these offences linked. Uh, seven of them are currently have been cleared and we're, our detectives are working on uh, the others, but we do think 14 of these are linked or can be uh, attributed to these, these people. Can you go into the details of which ones they are <coughs> so we can find them on our system? Yeah, perhaps I could give you a list after this, yeah. by all means, yes. And they're in the, uh, uh, in the South Brisbane and Logan areas. Yes, uh, an, an iron bar, tyre, a lever type uh, weapon was used initially and then it uh, became knives. Where were they arrested? Uh, perhaps I could... Uh, yeah, these individuals Jordan. were located at a number of addresses in the Logan district and uh, their arrests went, uh, uh, went without incident. And all relatively opposite at the same time? Or? Uh, yes, it was a coordinated response by police from State Crime Operations Command, Metropolitan South Police Region and South Eastern Police Region. Uh, as uh, Detective Superintendent Kemp said, there was 35 investigators involved in the response and after a briefing in the early hours of the morning, uh, we coordinated our response. How much of a relief is it to have these people on the street? Well, obviously for the business traders, it's, a, it's an obvious relief. Uh, we see it as a success. We do accept, however, that there are a number of other offences that, uh, that we are working on and uh, need to solve. Uh, it is a success for police, um, but is it, it is a success which is based on the assistance that's been provided to us over the past several months uh, through our Crime Stoppers network and also through, uh, through the business community. Were any of the three from overnight together when they were arrested? Uh, no, they were at individual addresses. 
Uh, however, due to our uh, use of intelligence holdings and, uh, and other conventional policing strategies, we were able to locate those individuals at, uh, at those addresses. You're saying that the numbers aren't dissimilar to last year overall, only 13 more, yet the Premier thought it was such a serious issue. She met with the Acting Commissioner this morning. Yeah. Well, uh, un unfortunately, we've had a compressed number, you know, in a, in a fairly short time frame, which led to the impression that there was some sort of explosion in the number of offences. In fact, that's not borne out when you look at the stats year on year for the last decade. In fact, we're, we're travelling very well. But it can be like uh, the road toll. If we have a number of fatal road accidents one after the other, it can create an impression that's not always borne out by the facts. But we certainly totally understand and recognise the community concern, the concern of all people, about the fact that we are having armed robbery offences. It is, in fact, a life imprisonment offence. The fact that it's uh, committed at 3 o'clock in the morning at a service station by a lone offender with a knife doesn't make it any less serious. The trauma that is caused to the people who are the victims of these offences is very significant. We recognise armed robbery as a most significant offence and we treat it accordingly and that's why we put the necessary resources into it. There's another couple of hold-ups on the Gold Coast overnight. How, how's the clean-up going down there? Um, well, look, in terms of uh, the police response to armed robberies on the Gold Coast, the uh, local district officers have uh, pulled together resources from their criminal investigation branches uh, so Logan Police District, Coomera Police District and Gold Coast Police District have dedicated criminal investigators to respond to those armed robberies. Uh, we work where we have identified linkages between those offences and others with State Crime Operations Command. Uh, we speak to uh, Crime Operations on a daily basis and we speak to our counterparts in our neighbouring districts and regions as well. Well, I think we've probably already covered that in the conversation that's been had between the Premier and the Acting Commissioner this morning. Um, we do have an armed robbery squad, as I indicated, but that's a squad that looks at the higher end of offending. As I said, offences that involve uh, sophistication, a lot of planning, new techniques, where there's a high-end reward. That We have a group like that because we need to make sure that they're networked nationally to keep in touch with developing trends across the country in high range um, robbery offences, but their focus is not specifically on these offences. Regional detectives are more than adequately capable of managing the investigation of these offences, as is shown by the clear up rate year in, year out. But where we're asked for assistance to deal with a particular uh, spate of armed robberies, we are more than happy to assist, and we do. And the results of that collaboration is evident in the arrests overnight. Gold Coast last year had a, a fairly low clear up rate. Any reason for that? Well, the statistics I have show that across the state uh, we had an overall clear up rate of about 55%, uh, the Gold Coast was at 51%. So I, I think um, uh, on the statistics that I have, it's, uh, it's comparable with what occurs around the state. Yeah, I've got statistics that say it's lower than that. Um, I was wondering why that might be. Uh, well, I can only comment on the information that I have, and uh, that's the stats that have been referred to me. But um, uh, so I, I, I'm sorry, I can't assist you. Anything else? Stay there, gentlemen. Just get a few.